Okay, so let's do an example. In this case, we are dealing with a pulley ratio. So we're given a pulley ratio for a, uh, an assembly belt, okay? So let's say we have a conveyor belt or an assembly belt, and we know that the pulley diameter ratio is four, okay? And they give us the larger pulley diameter, 15 inches, and we want to find what the smaller diameter, what the diameter of the smaller pulley is. So we're going to use the pulley diameter ratio formula, which is the diameter of the larger pulley divided by the per, uh, diameter of the smaller pulley. And so we know that that ratio is 4. So we know that larger diameter divided by the smaller diameter equals the pulley diameter ratio, which is four. And we know that the larger pulley diameter is 15 inches. And what we want to find is the smaller pulley di diameter, which we'll call x. So now that we have this equation, 15 divided by x equals four. Okay. So now, how do we approach this? Well, we can write this as a proportion. How do we write this as a proportion? Well, we can write any whole number as a fraction because we can write this as four over one. So we can write it as 15 divided by x equals four divided by one. And now we can cross multiply and solve. So if we cross multiply x times four, we get four x equals one times 15 inches, okay? So we get 15, okay? And of course the units are inches, right? And then the four is unitless, there's no units, right? For the four, for the ratio. And so if we divide both sides by four, well, we get what? We get x is equal to uh, what? It's going to be 3.75 or 3 and 3 fourths inches. Okay, and that's how you solve it. Have a great day.